MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Coming through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means... Spider-Man, here to lend a hand? Thought you might need one, officer. You don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released devil's breath. Might have left some residue I can track. Hmm. Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. AT rich leader sequence. This looks promising. Corpse modified CPF-1. Definitely Devil's Breath. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. Trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. You hear what happened? Vapor Trail heads up that building! Time to go up! Trail jumps between these buildings! Trail leads down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? There should be a door or an access hatch around here. Well, this is moody. Must be some way to hit the lights. There be light. Whoa. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Norman. I feel like I can't turn around without seeing his face. He smiles for the cameras, collects his accolades, and keeps his boot heel pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is? How reckless, how evil. If only they could be made to see the Norman I know, the man behind the mask. Oscorp has snaked itself throughout the city. 
power, communication, public safety. Norman made his company essential, but also fragile. If a disaster were to occur, and a few small pressure points were tweaked, it would all fall apart. The public would see Norman for what he is, a leech on their lives. Yes, just a few simple steps, and he would be ruined forever. How many men would I need? Well, let's see. First, some kind of disaster. A hurricane, an earthquake, or a plague. Martin has been arrested. This is my final recording. Peter, if you're listening to this, please know that I did what I thought was just. It may have been extreme, but when it comes to Norman, half measures will never do. Of all that I risk by taking this next step, the loss of our friendship will pain me the most. I hope that if we meet again, it will not be on opposite sides. Looks like Otto's been studying Sable's tech for weaknesses. Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Alexei, I've followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals. And freedom shall be yours. Mac Gargan, aka Scorpion, aka Crazy Pants McCrazy. It's rare for me to admit this, Mr. Gargan. Clearing your debts was more difficult than I anticipated. You're in arrears to some demanding individuals. But once the reservoir job is finished, your financial obligations will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. Old man Vulture. I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Adrian, what bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have brought such horrors on your body. Thankfully, you are now working for me. When our work is settled, the treatment I've developed will cure you. You won't shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Electro. Total live wire, that one. When you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> but as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. I 
Shadow's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify his harness to get a little closer to that goal. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer, and Otto's developing an experimental treatment to save him. Scorpion's helping Otto in exchange for a clean slate. Criminal record expunged? Gambling debts erased? Otto developed a corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. A certain government agency spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. UV bulb. Huh, nothing happened. Must be a way to get that lamp on. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Rhino's targeting Oscorp's shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Please going after the Devil's Breath anti-serum, using something called Icarus?
Icarus, this is it. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? 